What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quarter and coming to you from a world where words still have meaning. At least I felt like they had. We know that Twitter likes to redefine all sorts of words to bend and twist them to serve the purpose of their current agenda. I mean, there was a time when the bad guys from WW2, the terminology for them actually meant the bad guys from WW2, not just a conservative or somebody whose opinions I disagree with. There was a time when the, uh, the idea that an adult talking to somebody who was not an adult and preparing them for certain activities uh, had a certain definition, but apparently that definition no longer matters. Uh, as Dan uh, from Game Grumps has now been quote unquote canceled on Twitter because uh, he hooked up with a 22 year old female. That's right, you heard it right. Now see, the interesting thing about this is the same people pushing this this craziness uh, are the same people that you know talk about you know women's empowerment and all sorts of stuff like that. Now look, either women have agency or they don't. Uh, a 22 year old female uh, choosing to hook up with uh, a dude whose YouTube channel they like uh, is not. It's it's not what it's not grooming. It's just not. It's just not. I don't even understand how this narrative got started, but uh, you know, eventually here we are. Now there is a a tweet in or a post in the uh, rant grumps, which I don't know if it's like an anti game grumps thing or something like that. By the way. Uh, it's not exactly fun to defend the Game Grumps after what they did to JonTron, but he got he got a little bit of a laugh too, so we'll get into that. So here's a post that says, For over a year now, there have been claims about Dan being spicy with younger fans. Among other things, several girls have come forward, while others have contacted me or others privately. Uh, a few days ago, someone who wishes to remain anonymous came out to say now to prove her story was true uh she sent this video which is really i mean yes it's dan uh he's talking about a, a hot tub and wanting you know some girl to come share it with him it's really cringe i'm really glad that social media didn't exist in a time uh you know when i was dating because i probably said some cringe things too but there's nothing wrong that's in this video um, and then goes to point out, hey, Dan sent me this text message back in 2017. Here's the video. My God, I've never seen something so beautiful. I wish I was there. Um, you know, if you feel comfortable with the idea, you should send me a little video saying you'd like to hook up in the tub. That would do things for me. Um, so requesting like, you know, uh, a video between two uh, folks. You know, at the end of the day, the uh here's the claims somebody who is 20 okay so dan from the here, here's the real truth of it by the way dan from the game ground game grumps started talking to a fan who was 17 and 11 months let's just say 18 okay um then four years passes okay she hooks up with him, and then he ghosts her. You know, there was a time where groupies were groupies. Now, if you if you you know have a hookup type situation, uh, they'll try to ruin your life. And there is already a hundred articles calling this guy all sorts of terrible things. Um, you know exactly. And now the words like you know R word and G word are getting thrown around. People are the worst. Yeah. Okay. So maybe you know treating you could make the argument that you know treating women like that isn't is suboptimal and I'd, I'd agree with you but let's not act that let's not act like a 22 year old female didn't know exactly what was going on didn't know exactly what the plan was um this is ridiculous and then you have you know markiplier getting dragged in to dan's situations as a game ground controversy rages online you have i made the follow of the recent claims leveled against dan uh, the Game Grumps, uh, Mark Markiplier recently found himself being dragged in. Of course, Dan 
uh, is the co-host of popular Let's Play web series and one half of the musical duo Ninja Whatever Party. Recently grabbed headlines after he was, you know, after he manipulated young fans. This is such a, you know, look, this is, I get the power dynamic. I accept that it is is not always a, a good thing. And I also say that, you know, YouTubers really shouldn't be hooking up with their fans. Um, but the idea that these women have no agency and these women like didn't, you know, choose to be part of that situation. You know, you, you want to talk about somebody who's young, very young. OK, you got me. All right. I'm, I'll back that. But we're talking about somebody who's 22 years old. Um, now, there are several screenshots between them, you know, a Reddit thread with text messages showing Dan's conversation with the fan. Um, they started speaking to them before they were 18. You mean 17 and 11 months. Also, by the way, nothing happened until they were 22 years old. According to recent slew of claims that were reported them, you know, in the light of these claims, several Twitter users took to social media to label Dan uh, an active perpetrator of, you know, a terrible thing. Markiplier's recent involvement with the scandal seemed to have stemmed from a few tweets in which fans labeled him as the only problem, unproblematic YouTuber left. Um, yeah, but, you know, when we keep changing the definition of what problematic is, you know, eventually they'll probably get um, Markiplier for something. The idea, you know, <laughs> look, the 42-year-old co-host of YouTube gaming channel, Game Grumps, and he is also a musician, a lead singer of a band. Um, an anonymous person posted a thread which has gone viral containing screenshots of text between Dan and the woman who was technically underage at the time. Look, I'm not going to argue with you about the letter of the law. All right? We agree. Yes. You know, any if had anything have happened at that time, it would have been... Uh, in violation of that, but nothing did happen. And honestly, somebody who's 17 and 11 months, uh, you know, is it weird that he was 34 talking to somebody who was, you know, even just, let's just say 18 at the time? Yeah, that's a pretty big gap. Um, is, is it, you know, modern day stigma? Obviously, you know, if he was like 50 and she was in her early 20s, it's still kind of weird. You know, that's fine as long as they're two adults that know exactly what's, you know, what they're getting into. The claims of the text conversation turned into spicy ones once she turned of age and eventually led to her meeting him backstage at a Game Grumps Live where they hooked up. After this encounter, the woman said he stopped all communication with her. Okay, so that's what this is really about, right? Let's be honest. That's what this is about. She got the groupie treatment, uh, and now she's trying to ruin his life. Wow, he's not a very good-looking dude. I mean, yikes. Um, and you have this initial tweet here, too, where it's being framed. Oh, it's, it's unavailable. What? Did they delete it? Is that? Yeah, they deleted it. Okay. So Dan from Game Rush just got outed for being a creep on top of this awful sense of humor on that channel is just terrible. I already disliked Aaron, and now this? The person claims she reached out to Avid in September 2013, um, and they were exchanging text messages. The user who made the Reddit post of the conversation of the victim shared with them involving Dan turned into this. So nothing happened. This is, this is like the biggest nothing burger on the planet. And look... And we're going to get to John's revenge here in a second, but I, I, I acknowledge that power dynamics exist, power dynamics exist and are a pro are, there's something that needs to be kept in mind by the one who holds the power, right? Um, this is a thing. Uh, and it's not always what it seems like. But this clearly seems like a fan had maintained a long-term relationship with somebody that they were a fan of. They got they got you know used, and tossed aside, and now they're trying to ruin his career because of it. And it's so it's just so bad. Like, are we at such a point of insane privilege that this is something that everyone's going to get overexcited about? And to be honest with you, the fact that we're using terms, the terms that they are using. 
is very frustrating to me because it totally devalues like any real, you know, real instances of it. Um, 34 talking to somebody who's 18. I'm going to say 18 because 17 and 11 months. Let's be honest here. Come on. Most nations, you know, and many states, 16 is the age of uh, consent, I believe. But which still to me, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. Like if if I'm 37 now, the idea of talking to somebody who's even in their 20s is weird for me. Uh, their early 20s, for example, is weird to me. But this is the biggest nothing burger on the planet. People are so, this is what I talk about with cancel culture. There used to be people would rise up when there was a reason to, you know, bring information forward about somebody or something, okay? But that's not what this is. This is people, just this roving mob of people that just are constantly mad about something and they constantly blow everything up out of proportion and they're constantly trying to cancel somebody. Now, this is how you end up getting, you know, picked up like this but then we saw john tron tweeting out <laughs> does this mean we finally get to finish sonic 06 like absolutely absolutely uh just <laughs> savage uh but again hey i support it i support john taking his victory lap here because look i defend what this you know, look this guy didn't do anything worth canceling. Was he maybe a creep? Okay, maybe we can maybe we can you can make that case. But let's not blow everything up into, you know, I remember when the band um Pine Grove got canceled because the lead singer hooked up with uh fans. Like either women have agency or they don't. You can't have it both ways. Like this there's some nuance involved out there. This is clearly a fan who feels spurned and now the internet is always ready and willing to oblige to cancel somebody. Game Grumps did nothing wrong, um, as tough it is, as it is for me to say that, given what they did to John. But uh, yeah, let's 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 keep the the mobs for people that really deserve it. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.